Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. In today's video, we're gonna do sound comparison of vintage tubes and modern tubes. Now this is, for some people, a very sensitive topic. Some people, you know, are completely fine with modern. Some people are completely, you know, uh, uh, swearing on the vintage and, you know, hating everything that's modern. I really love the vintage. You know, I think modern stuff, it's okay. It does, does do the work, but it does not provide in my humble opinion, such magic as a vintage tube. Now, everything here in is in the details, of course, you know. The changing, you know, vintage to modern tube is not going to make your amp sounding, let's say, from a modern Marshall into vintage Marshall. It's going to, you know, going from JCM 2000 into, for example, you know, Plexi. That's not going to happen. But it's going to give you a certain detail and a certain feel of a sound that perhaps you prefer. Now, to do this experiment, I chose three, three tubes of each kind. So, I'm going to have them in V1, V2, and V3 positions. So, I decided the best thing to do is compare three, basically, the same tubes. In the sense that I have three JJs here. Now, we're talking about modern tubes. I have three JJ83S. And this will be today standard right and i also have on a vintage side i have three philips holland philips mini watt uh they're all from 60s they all have halo gator basically it's an industry standard of the 60s and this will be the standard of today so uh i think the best fair way to do is is to have three same kind of a tubes and those are also the same kind of a jj's they all have this Hello Gator, Gator. Uh, for those that know some other kinds of tubes, this tube looks fairly similar to ECC88, which is another double triode. Anyways, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put them in V1, V2, and V3. We're gonna record a clean sample and uh, a distortion sample. We're gonna do this like clean riff, and then I'm gonna do this classic rock kind of a riff. Now, what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna just let the tube, just the you know guitar tracks, and then I'm gonna let all together with the drums and bass to see how it sounds all together. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here we are in the end of this video. As I forgot to mention before, make sure you listen to this on a quality speakers, not for your phone because everything through your cell phone sounds horrible through the cell phone speakers. So make sure you're plugged in a good pair of speakers and then listen to the detail. Now do they sound so dramatically different? No, but they do provide different kinds of detail. In my own ears I heard that this Philips Mini Watt has way more balanced soundstage. Uh, the bass are nice and neutral, the mids are sweet, and the top end is nice and chiming. On the other hand, uh, on the other hand, the 83S JJ has a little bit dull bass and maybe perhaps a little bit too scratchy top end, you know, but this is how I hear. Everyone here is different. I would personally choose vintage tubes if I had to choose uh, to put, you know, to have in my amp over modern. But again, the price is a big difference here. So if you just want to have a tube that conveniently works, I guess you should just go for JJ. But otherwise, if you're geek like me, <laughs> then you go for Miniwatt. All right. Hope you enjoy. Have a good one.